Bam! All right, guys, time to bring Keto Genesis back. I'm so excited. I've been, I did carnivore for a little bit, and then I started doing low carb, high fat. Now I'm still doing low carb, high fat, but I want to create programs for people to graduate from low carb, high fat, which is still starch, you know, potatoes, a, a sweet potato, if you don't have an oxalate sensitivity, white rice into keto omnivore. And for those who've got problems with uh, plant to keto carnivore or ovivore, which is an avocado carnivore, so you guys can keep your potassium in. Now, let's talk about this. Y'all, not y'all. But people out there have completely gutted and destroyed this lovely, lovely health benefit of being in ketosis, a highly adapted state of ketosis. A lot of people just don't know. When I ask people, they're like, oh, I've heard about the ketogenic diet, of course. I'm like, well, what is it? They're like, uh, I don't know, almond flour, coffee. And I'm like, no, cheese, no. And then a lot of weight loss, I'm like, no. So basically, you guys... Let's try to get back to the basics and i want to start kind of building out through the the basic understanding of it to get people excited to be in a state of ketosis again and to do it the right way so basically this is through ketogenic pathways and it's very very hard for your body to produce viable ketones that it's going to use get into the cells and you're going to you're going to get you get it got the energy energy and energy uh so basically how this is done is in the liver right all the, i mean all of this starts with the liver you you eat fat and then your body has to create enzymes and there's a, this whole process to then eventually get these ketones into the bloodstream into the krebs cycle and into your organs into the cells to give you energy and why would you do that because we're not supposed to be eating starches and carbohydrates uh starchy carbohydrates or processed more processed carbohydrates like the modern human we've kind of fracked ourselves so we've given ourselves leaky gut diabetes all types of health issues cancers uh, different types of cancers having your immune system drop women have reproductive problems uh, men have reproductive problems with a thing called advanced glycation end product which is the damages of cells from eating too much friggin processed carbohydrates. Now, if you were to be in a wild, in the wild, you would have, let's say, you could find wild spinach, something that's not been hybridized, selectively bred, or genetically modified, just something that's just growing in nature. Well, it's not going to be sweet, and because bugs will be like, mmm, obliteration, bomb, and that's the reason why we've developed pesticides and all these things for farming techniques, because bugs are like, oh, look, a buffet wild plants whole different subject now they've got less carbohydrate they also have anti-nutrients but that's going to be on my new series of trying to understand what it's like to be in a state of ketosis and the fabulous life that you live with that now this is a process right in the liver so it's very important that your liver is running beautifully and sometimes it can actually help the liver encourage it to run more beautifully but if you have a good functioning liver obviously you're going to adapt 10 times faster, right? So there's this process of getting your body to make ketones or fatty acids that are converted in the liver through the mitochondria through this process called carnitine palmitoid transferase. And that is through this type of uh, beta oxidation. So you're going to have your body take fatty acids from what you eat first and then from what you eat converted in the mitochondria of your liver and then it's going to travel through your blood and end up in your Krebs cycle which is the energy cycle into your organs and then poof it's amazing that how well your cells run on ketones the problem is now we're designed to make ketones and we also can uh consume uh, carbohydrates which break down into glucose which is sugar within the body because we have amylase in our saliva and that is to, sh to prove that in our evolution as humans we can start breaking down starches in our starting with our mouth but the problem is how much wild spinach a big bowl of it's going to give you about two to three grams of carbohydrate but a slice of bread is going to give you 33 grams of 
of carbohydrate and your body can really insulin can really only kind of your pancreas can is really only equipped to deal with five grams which is a teaspoon of carbs of glucose right that's it so this is the problem that people the science just gets lost and and, and, and i mean people try to botch the ketogenic diet because it really puts a lot of other companies who are pro carb companies uh at risk of losing their business with people just dumping all their processed carbohydrates so you'll see these like fallacies these wrong uh type of like blogs and vlogs and people talking about how bad it is for your liver when it actually helps your liver and uh, people will say that um, like eating meat will blunt your insulin receptor sites, all kind of weird stuff. They'll say that your brain doesn't use ketones. They'll say that ketones make candida grow. I mean, this is straight projection, you guys. It's quite the opposite of all this negative garbage. Now, I've been doing this 13, now going on 14 freaking years. I am 53, going on 54. Started this when I was 40. So for me, it's really important to stick around and show you guys, like you can look at my other videos. I looked kind of haggard, I did, in my 30s. I've shown some pictures, but you'll see me from my 40s, early 40s to my 50s. I have stayed doing, got the ab squad going on the whole time. Um, I've shown and I've done this catalog of videos with like a sports bra because I want it to have a catalog of me aging and what this diet has done to me, either positive or negative, it's going to show in my aging, right? The, the, the shortening of my DNA is going to be very prevalent and very obvious if, uh, if it didn't work, I'd start to develop like all these issues, like they say, but you don't, right? This balances your blood sugar because you're always going to produce blood sugar when you do a ketogenic protocol. You're always going to. It's not like, okay, now I just 100% run on ketones. That's not true. Your body will also always go through a process of gluco, which is glucose, sugar. Neo means new and genesis, which, which means to create, to create new blood sugar, gluconeogenesis. And it does this to give you quick energy. It also is for your red blood cells. And a lot of people who um, have thyroid issues, uh, doctors will say like, oh no, you can't do the ketogenic diet because you know you need, um, you need glucose for the thyroid. And you don't, you just don't. I have worked with, now as years have passed, I have worked with so many people who've got uh, their, their parathyroid radiated, Hashimoto's, uh, hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, I mean, all of it. Goiters, you name it. And when you don't know better, you can't do better with misinformation. And um, yeah, people will do this diet and then they'll have like adverse reactions because they're not adapted. So their glucose has dropped and they're, they're not eating enough fat and they're not producing enough viable ketones. I mean, not the glucose, but the carbohydrates have dropped and they're not producing a viable ketones. And then like everything's down, right? They're not a carb burner. They're not a sugar burner. Well, they still remain a sugar burner, but like your glycogen, which this is the gas tank. That's the gas tank of uh, your muscles hold glycogen from carbs. And, but they can only hold so much. That's why people get fat, right? You're eating like say wild spinach out there, which I know has oxalates, but wild spinach, or like a big massive bowl of it will give you about three grams of carbohydrate. Whereas a piece of bread has 33, which one is gonna spike your blood sugar? Well, obviously the bread is. And if the body can only handle five grams, oh no, that's a half a teaspoon, my bad. No, 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 five grams is a teaspoon, five to six. Um, if your body can only handle a teaspoon of glucose then yo you know what i'm saying you guys have to realize that all that extra blood sugar damages cells the heart's pumping boom, boom. it's going like this boom 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 and then blood is pumping down 
to your feet, your veins are squeezing it back up and it goes in this cycle. And then when there's too much sugar, because your body was never designed for that, it's just damage, damage cells, damage, damage cells, age cells, damage cells, you know? And this is what we don't want to happen. That's the reason why people are like, oh my God, you look young because you're brown. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> because you can see brown skin does not develop the fine lines as much as white skin but it collagen if your collagen goes away you can still have dark circles puffy eyes um you can have saggy jowls the the jawline is what you notice when people get older the jaw starts to sag the skin starts to not snap back um as it would normally do and that i mean the brown skin will protect collagen but smoking cigarettes won't uh being cr chronically dehydrated won't, uh, pharmaceuticals won't stop it, uh, poor sleep won't stop it. Uh, there are so many advanced glycation end product from too many carbohydrates will destroy the collagen under your skin. And even though you don't have the fine lines, you've got the sagginess. And that's why you can look at a black person and go, oh, they're this age and guess right. Uh, with the people who are not healthy because you know they've got obesity, diabetes, all types of healthy problem, unhealthy uh, problems going on. And so I wanna bring you guys back to the basics and start going through it more. Now this is applicable to the carnivore diet because you do a high fat carnivore diet. Most of everybody out there has, I, I start saying, no, 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 no. This has gotta be moderate to low uh, protein and um, high fat, the same as keto omnivore with plants. Now there are some people who are talking about yeah, you've got to eat high fat, but then they don't talk about ketogenesis. I'm like, y'all don't understand. You got to be in a state of ketosis if you're going to do a carnivore diet. And and I dare I say, I really think as soon as you can heal that gut and get the plants back, get off of the carnivore diet, because what I've been noticing with people over a long period of time is it's really weird. Their diamine oxidase production, which is an enzyme that takes down histamine, goes away their microbes start acting weird in their gut people start developing diarrhea or constipation um people who are doing the these like carnivore with high protein the 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 uh, gallbladder is starting to get mad because they're not eating enough fatty meat uh, a lot of people who are chronically dehydrated on carnivore are starting to have problems with their kidneys because they're dehydrated, 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 not getting their electrolyte balance, not drinking enough water, then trying to stuff purines and protein through the kidneys. That's when their GFR lowers. It's not like it, the diet does that to you. It's the mismanagement. Oh, my phone is telling me that I'm running out of space. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the beginning of a lovely old new journey. Learn more right here. If you want to have questions, if you have questions, I'm trying to hurry before my phone runs out of time, uh, post below. You can reach me on Instagram at Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie, the, the business person as in the body business, or you can book a consultation because it's all open at stephaniepersoncom or my course, which I cover low carb, high fat, keto omnivore, high fat carnivore, ketogenic, and getting low carb, high fat to go into omnivore uh, so book a consultation if you need some guidance. I'm really solid right now with all my information. I've learned so much. Thank you, you guys. I'm out. Energy, 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 energy at 53. Peace.